The One Happy Diabetic video you're about to watch contains content that was created based on our unique experiences with diabetes and should not substitute for the advice of medical professionals. The opinions expressed in this video do not reflect those of our employers, doctors, friends, or favorite grocery store checkout person. They are solely our own. Enjoy! Hey guys! First of all, this is my first video uh, that I'm posting on OneHappyDiabetic.com. If you like my videos and my blogs and stuff, but you've never seen One Happy Diabetic, go check it out, OneHappyDiabetic.com. So the question I want to ask you in this video is, have you ever continuously done something that you know is bad for you? Like the way you continuously read those trashy James Patterson novels? Like the way you're always singing Beyonce at karaoke? Like the way you read all of those Twilight novels? What I'm talking about is my D-spot. <laughs> Your what? My D-spot. <laughs> Do men actually have those? My D-spot is short for my diabetes spot. This place right here on my left side of my belly. It's my first choice for places to inject insulin. I don't know why, it's just my go-to. I like it. I say this is an unhealthy habit because hard fat deposits, scar tissue, build up in this area if you keep injecting in the same spot, which is nasty. And it gets bruised. And you don't want to take your shirt off at the pool, which is nasty. And those lumps can change the way insulin is absorbed, making it more difficult to manage your glucose levels. That's bad, too. My intention is to use the clock system when I'm injecting insulin. Have you heard of that? We'll take a look at this artist's rendering of my abdomen. It looks a lot like my real abdomen, except for the skin tone is a little bit off. Basically, imagine a clock laid over this abdomen. And I'm going to inject once at 12 o'clock, and then I'll go to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, etc., all the way around the clock. So basically, I'm only injecting the same spot every 12 injections, give or take. But when I'm in a rush, or when I'm in public or at work, I tend to go right for the D spot. <laughs> so I turn to a source that is more trustworthy than Dr. Phil, gives more advice than Ann Landers herself, and is younger than most 8th graders. I am talking about Google. Using Google.com, I found some random blog from a guy named Jeff, and he had a post called, Three Steps to Break a Bad Habit. Step 1. Confess. I like to shoot insulin in my D-spot instead of in a rotation. Step 2. Decisive action. I'm not going to do that anymore. Step 3. Declaration. On this day, the 10th day of October, year 2011, the declaration step, at least according to Jeff, actually is about repeating this new positive action out loud to yourself, to God, to your Starbucks barista, to anybody that would listen, really. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So I'm going to give it a go, and I'm going to see if, using these three steps, I can stop hitting my D-spot. Long midday naps, like the way you love the Waffle House, like the way you watch late night infomercials, the way you'll date someone because they have an accent, the way you drink more coffee than water, the way you watch more Food Network than actually cook, that gross fake nacho cheese stuff, the television show Golden Girls, PerezHilton.com, barbecue pork rinds, the Disney Channel, 